This video is brought to you by the one and only Squarespace. From online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is your one-stop shop to building a beautiful online presence and running your business. Hello and welcome back to TGTV and more specifically ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some work that's actually already taking place. Some of you will recognise the car behind me as that of my business partner Aaron. Aaron is back on the channel today ladies and gents and as if by magic he is appearing two metres behind me over there. So, is that poking my ear out? Is that okay? Oh by the way if you want a mask I'll leave the uh, link to the place that I got one of these. If you, uh, no, no it doesn't work on here. Swipe up. My middle name is now Swipe Up, by the way. I've uh, had it changed by Depot. The link to the mask, anyway, that I bought this from will be below the video. But today, then, what are we doing? You've got GP2 and you're doing some work to it. Yes. So, you got GP2 how long ago? Two months ago? Something like that, yeah. Three months ago? Who knows at this point? It's the first time driving this in the slot. Hmm, yes. So, you've had this GP2 for a number of months. I obviously got the GP3 and we went out on those just before lockdown. Are you, are you all right? <laughs> He's very excited anyway because you're getting some cool work done. So what are we doing to your car today? So I'd say we, I'm doing nothing. I'm staying well away from it because I'll round every bolt. I will thread every screw. I will set fire to things. So someone that knows what they're doing is a... You need to send me an invoice for the previous video, by the way. So you'll have to send me an invoice for this one as well. Yeah, to me for, for appearing on the channel. So, are you, are you in a position to explain exactly what you're what you're doing to this car? Yeah, we're about two meters apart. Is a good position. We are actually two meters apart. Nice, oh, genuinely. Like they're good lad. Do you like these? Yeah, where are they from? Crep Chief Notify, mate. Pay retail for overpriced trainers. Nice. Anyway, go on. So today we are limited slip diff on the front, which I believe is Quaif. Um, that's just been fitted. They're doing coil overs as well. KW is that the brand term? KW, yeah, they're good old boys. Um, and I think they're doing a high flow downpipe. So okay. I think that's, uh, that's it. That's Are they going to do you a haircut as well? Yeah, that's uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, awesome. Look at it. No, not too close, please. I don't want to see. If I see nits, we're too close. <laughs> no, it's a complete nonsense, that thing. Um, so you're doing quaff diff. High flow downpipe. That's a basically decat type thing, but a high flow cat, not decat. And KW coilover springs as well. Correct. Lovely. That's gonna that's gonna change you. Are you doing anything to the power today? Um, no, but we are going to talk about potentially. Doing Should we look at options? Yeah, they're going to stick it on the dyno, dyno anyway, because well, you know how quick this thing feels. So it'd be interesting to see. That. And if you were to decat it yes. completely, you would need to do a map with that, correct? That's to the best of my knowledge, that's correct, Tom. Yes. And if someone wanted to bring their GP2 down or GP1 or GP3 for that matter. Mm. DMS will be able to work on it and they will be able to fit aftermarket bits and bobs and then also ensure that it works properly with the mapping of the car over on the dyno there. Is that all correct, Aaron? To the best of my knowledge, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Good. There's a few other little bits coming to it as well over time. Okay. So we're about halfway through the work now. That's going to come down in a bit. We're going to listen to it. Then we're going to get it on the dyno and we're going to assess options. When I bought the car, I obviously didn't necessarily look under the hood. So the guys at DMS have actually had a look at it. Um, Has it been shunted? Has it been chanted? <laughs> um, but no, they've had a look under the hood, they've had a look at the mounts and stuff like that, so they've given a bit of reassurance, a bit of peace of mind that the car is actually, it's a good one, um, and, we can, uh, and we can crack on. So that's why I've kind of come down here with mine as well. I brought this down here with me, and there's going to be a full video on this car, but I've actually bought this recently, um, that video is probably up by now, and I've taken it to DMS to have kind of a full health check done on it, seeing what we can do to bring it a little bit more up to date in terms of there's any software or kind of uh, mechanical bits and bobs we can do. So that video is going to be on the channel as well at some point if it isn't already. Yes, but that's basically, that's a good idea I think. When you view by a car, obviously what, that car is how many years old? 62 plate I think it is. 62. Years, yeah, sure, yeah. Oh, so uh, it's literally, that is a year older than that. So cars at this age, especially high performance ones, they tend to have had uh, relatively interesting lives. Yeah, and I, just sorry. 
you've done the ECU check on that, they're gonna do that on that as well, which is really good, so it's gonna wipe. Yeah, there's any flat spots in the power or anything like that, then they, yeah. can, they can have a little look. Any fault codes that have been written out in the past, um, and obviously the, the maybe some mileage stuff, yeah. possibly. Oh, they've done the intercooler as well. Who have? I forgot about that. They put the bigger intercooler on today. Oh, has the intercooler already yeah. been done? Oh my god, yeah, it's chaos. The intercooler is just... Oh, that thing at the front is... Aircon. Is it? Yeah, and then that's the intercooler there. Oh, chaos, that thing in the bottom there. Yes, they've done that, completely forgot. Oh wow, oh, it's a forge one. Is it? Yeah, it's rich. It says forge on it. Old or forge? <laughs> forge. Oh. Forge, yeah, it's, uh, I can see anyway. It's a good one. It's a good one, Aaron. First start up. Thumbs up from over there. That's chaotic. You're going to be causing even more trouble in that, you oaf. So for those that don't know, Aaron actually had a GT4 before this, came in GT4. And controversially, do you prefer this? Yes. Do you actually? And you actually mean that? You actually prefer your Mini to your Cayman GT4? Yeah, yeah, oh my God. Mom. Hell. I'm going to have to stay well away. I'm not going to touch any of that, but goodness me. So you've got this then, and you've also got a Range Rover Sport P400e. You got P400e uh, Range Rover the same time as me. You've got the Sport, I've got the Vogue. So this sits alongside that. That's a very good two-car garage, actually. Aaron? Maybe soon to be three. Soon to be three. This is, this is not going anywhere. It's a keeper. It's a keeper. Lovely stuff. So that's then the hardware fitted. We've got the springs in there. Looking very nice. We've got the diff done. And we've also got the high flow exhaust done so it's time to put it on the dyno and see what it's running what would you do if it's running like 120 brake no. well sort it out i guess would be you in the best place for it yeah chaos safe to establish the exhaust is a little bit louder let's see if Aaron's happy with that are you happy with that Aaron so the car is finished on the dyno and standard it actually made 215 brake and not that Aaron would be so silly but if you were to map this um, you could possibly get it up to, I mean, if we were to map it and it had just been mapped and the stat was on the screen, we could get nearer and show you that, but we haven't mapped it. But if you were to map it, it would make up to 296.1 brake horsepower, which is pretty mental. Are you tempted to do that? So tempted. Hmm, so tempted indeed. I'm going to ring the insurance company and see if they, I don't know. First point. So yes, all jokes aside then, it's perfectly plausible to get this up to 280 to 290 brake horsepower, if not above if not 296.1. And it's now a unique prospect, because obviously the new one is about 305 brake horsepower. But this, with a manual gearbox, up to about 300 brake, is a unique prospect. And it actually looks like much better value than the GP3, being half the price. I think then, on that noisy note, 
As mentioned at the start of the video, this video is brought to you with Squarespace. It's a very exciting offer and a very useful offer coming after I explain exactly what Squarespace is and how good it is. Many of you will have heard this before, but it really is worth listening to and it's a very good offer. Squarespace effectively allows you to build your own website. If you're anything like me and you don't really understand tech, it takes you through and allows you to build a beautiful and very effective website. There's loads of features that Squarespace have that are built in to the tools and they take you through those. One of those features is that you can schedule content. So if you're a very busy bee like me and you're running around all over the place and you've got loads of things on, you can actually backload content when you have a very productive hour or so and you can time release that over time. There are blogging tools as well, meaning you can post photos and videos much like you do on your own social media, but you can do that through the website. Other cool features that you can build into your website with Squarespace, you can do email campaigns very easily. So email campaigns are really, really important in e-commerce. It enables you to really capitalize on the data set that you have and they're actually really, really good. And you'll notice that most online stores run email campaigns of sorts and it's important you get those right. Other Squarespace tools include the analytics side of it so you can monitor traffic on your website you can see who's coming in who's going out bounce rate gender demographic how long they're on the site for all very key metrics that if you delve into will allow you to build an even more effective and efficient website another hugely popular and effective tool that squarespace enable you to build into your website is subscription model subscription model is really really key and i'm sure you've seen it with uh, crep chief notify it's a really key way of building recurring revenue for your business growing your company value and creating stability in terms of income with your business as well. Subscription models are great and again Squarespace takes you through that and enables you to build that into your website. And if you're incredibly anti-social slash on social media the whole time, like me, you can actually build in social media into your website. And if you're not anti-social and you're on your personal social media, you can actually build in obviously your company social media into the website as well and integrate it fully making it look uh, very very nice. So then the important bit, there is a free trial right now so you can go and try it out using the link below. I'll leave that in the pinned comment and the description. And when you're ready to roll, you get a 10% discount as well. So make sure you hit the links below, get involved, go and see what it's about for yourself and enjoy. And do make sure you keep me posted with what you build. I love seeing what you guys are up to. You know, your side projects, your new websites, your new businesses. DM them to me, send them to me, put your links below. I love it all. So stay in touch, good luck, enjoy, and let's get back on with the video. There'll be more with Aaron and his GPT on the channel very, very soon. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe, blah, blah, blah. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye now. Yeah. You happy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could say that. <laughs> Sounded absolutely ridiculous. Good work, lad. Right, it's the end of the video, lad. Say bye. She's a roller coaster.